Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to look good in every photo. Up your Insta game, up your selfie game, up your Facebook profile picture game, up your taking pictures with friends game. Okay, let's just jump right into it, doesn't really need a, a preamble. Um, by the way, this is my Uncle Feminist tea, check them out, put a link down below. Okay, let's just get into it. So, tip number one is know your angles. Um, you should know your face, you should know what looks best what angles you like the best, whether it's straight on or like a little bit to the side or up or down or whatever. So just go into the mirror or pull out your phone and play with angles and learn your face so you know exactly what way to turn your head when the camera's on you. Number two is to get inspiration. I really like looking through Instagram for inspiration and then I love that little save button. You can like save photos to Instagram now. So just getting inspired by other people's photos or, you know, it's just like basically making a mood board for yourself and at any photo shoot they would have a mood board. So, you know, getting inspired by a girl's like position or like aesthetic or guy, whatever, it doesn't have to be a girl. Or just a photo you see from a photographer so you can kind of like maybe copy the way that person's moving. Any of that, getting inspired is definitely the best way to take a good photo. Number three, which is like the ultimate tip and the only tip you really need, Good lighting. Good lighting is like, ah, makes your photo way better. Natural lighting is the best, but if you're gonna go outside, you wanna shoot when it's overcast and not when the sun's directly on you because if the sun's directly on you, it's gonna create weird shadows, it's gonna make you look weird, you're gonna be squinting, you're gonna be hot, not the best. So you want it to be overcast um, or by a window. If you wanna take a good selfie, go to a window. If you're inside and you don't really have a window or anything, artificial lighting is great. The Lumi case, but like right now, I'm using a window on this side, and then I have two artificial lights here. I actually also have an artificial light behind me to brighten up the background. Fun fact lighting, 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 lighting. Also, if it's like a sunny day, you can wait for golden hour or magic hour. Uh, there's actually an app that tells you exactly when golden hour or magic hour is. It's called magic hour, um, and that's when the sun has like set. There's no harsh lighting. It's like a, it's like the perfect time to take photos. I usually use the magic hour at night, not in the morning. It's like, I'm not gonna get up before the sun. When you're taking a selfie, you wanna have your go-to faces. So you don't think about it, you just kind of do it. For example, mine, I have a few. I do the uh, pouty lip, so example. So what I do is I just like create a little air pocket and I puff out my top lip to make my lips look bigger. The smile, I do like a that kind of smile. I mean, sometimes I smile with my teeth, but that's a one in a million. Um, I do my tongue out. And then I always like throw a hand in a picture. I find if you put a hand in your picture, it just looks like way more natural and not so posed. So my go-to is like the hair, here, even just like throwing the hand up, my favorite. And then for standing photos, uh, there's a lot of tricks. I'm sure you've heard of a lot of the tricks. So number one is the fake walk. You just kind of like fake walk <laughs> and it makes it look natural. It gives some, the photo some movement. Uh, and then when I'm standing, I put my legs apart a little bit. It just creates a really nice shape to your body. Also makes you look taller. It also um, makes the clothes fall more nicely than if your legs were together and just standing there. The biggest model tip in the book is the invisible heel, just where you like, if you're wearing flats, you just pump your heels up and stand on your toes. A lot of people ask me in videos why I stand on my toes. It just makes your body look nicer. It makes you look slimmer, taller. Um, so I always stand on my toes. One foot in front of the other, more weight on your back leg. It sounds like really complicated, but once you do it a few times, your body just kind of does it. And that will just like make your body look way better, slimmer, and the clothes look nicer. My last tip is like the candid shot. Everyone loves a good candid shot. It's like, oh, I wasn't... I wasn't ready for the picture. <laughs> if you're with a friend, you know, the fake like <laughs> laughing. So when someone's taking a picture of you, every time, like obviously they should be taking more than just one picture. Who asks for one picture to be taken? When they're taking it, just move. Slight movements, this. Fix your hair, look down, up. Just keep moving and then you'll probably get a picture that you like. Again, that was my sixth tip. Take a lot of photos and keep moving. No one's gonna get the, <laughs> the right photo on the first one. Actually, sometimes like I'll take a million selfies and then it's like the first one is the best one. So annoying. As long as you take a lot of pictures, out of like 100 pictures, I usually get one. So whether it's selfies or outfit pictures, just take a lot, move, have fun with it and be confident. Confidence is key in any photo. If you're confident, you're rocking it, the photo's gonna, you're gonna like the photo. If you wanna learn how I edit my Instagram, I have a video for that. And if you wanna learn how to have a perfect Instagram feed, I also have a video for that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. 
um, and hopefully these little model tips helped you out. Please subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram if you want to check out my Instagram. But that's it. Love you all. Peace and love.